University of Utah has agreed to pay $175,000 to an executive who tricked them with outlandish claims about his work experience to get his job. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Adam Herbetz exposed the executive's career of widespread lies two months ago. And tonight he has the latest update in this saga. Well, Bob Kelly, at one point the University of Utah told us the punishment for lying on a resume could be termination, but instead they kept Christopher Massamine on the payroll for two months and then agreed to pay him $175,000 to resign from his job as executive director of Pioneer Theater Company. That resignation went into effect last week with Massamine announcing that there was, quote, a fair amount of truth within the reporting and that he will be stepping away from his six-figure salary due to mental illness. This all after we found out he either lied or greatly exaggerated claims that he was a major player in the film, television, music, video game, advertising, and theater industries. Lying about working on TV shows with Paris Hilton, creating commercials for companies like Old Spice, and producing some of the most well-known video games of the last two decades, like Final Fantasy. According to the University of Utah, that $175,000 will come entirely out of Pioneer Theater Company's budget, which includes grants and donor funds. This is despite the fact that Pioneer Theater administrators had no say in the settlement or any employment decisions. They are a nonprofit entity serving the public. It may hurt the company quite a bit. A company I love, a company I've seen amazing art at. According to a current employee of the theater, Christopher Massamine, quote, shouldn't get a dime. In fact, he should be paying the theater back. And according to Rocky Anderson, the former mayor of Salt Lake City, why would the U pay anything to this disgraceful liar to get him to resign? I'd have fired him, pressed criminal charges, and sued him for fraud, embezzlement, and more. Why is the public's money being paid to a scamster to avoid scrutiny of university officials? Of course, as part of the settlement, both sides have agreed to not pursue any further legal action. Reporting in studio, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.